these are not the best of times for an all progressive congress apc governorship aspirant in edo state pastor osage Izeyamu, as the camp is relying upon to achieve his political aim is said to have switched support away from him however the situation seems a blessing in disguise for another aspirant honorable osaro obaze who whom sources within the APC said is now enjoying the support of the group lawyer to the APC national chairman, Adam Sushomole. Finding by Saturday Telegraph revealed that Sushomole and many of the party faithful were not comfortable with the idea of dumping the man popularly called POI, but the plethora of court cases against the former People's Democratic Party PDP governorship candidates had become an abatros. Top placed sources within the Oshomole faction of the APC in Edo State explained that it was tough taking the decision, but the leaders of the party had no choice so as not to run into crisis. As such, they advised Oshomole not to plunge the state into another Bayesa state, Dibaku. We saw what happened in Bayesa. We don't want that to happen here. If the chairman continues to support, Pastor Osage Izeyamo, he may regret it because the court cases against him are too many. So it is better we take the decision now. It will soon become an open thing. But I am telling you now that it is the decision we have taken. We are going with Obaze. We cannot afford to run into court cases that we take the state back into the hands of the PDP, he said. Fresh facts, however, reveal that there was an earlier agreement by the party leaders to pick Pastor Zagize Yamu and that, and that led to the mock primary head in Abuja where Ize Yamu was chosen as a consensus candidate. But no sooner had the mock primary head than things started falling apart. A competent source within the party informed a correspondent that the dream of Ize Yamu becoming the party's candidate first got a blow after the visit of some governors to the national leader of the party, Bola Tinumbu. In that meeting, according to our sources, one of the governors presented Ize Yamu's case fight to Tinumbu while noting that the party cannot risk giving its ticket to Ize Yamu. Tinumbu and others, other leaders pre present at the meeting were said to have asked for some time to study the files and consult some lawyers. However, the revelation that came back showed that it was not a risk worth taking. This made the party leaders turn their back against Eze Yamu, but further consultation within the top echelon narrowed the race to Obaze. As such, they decided to back the new horse. If a prophet had told Obaseki that Obaze, who he denied tickets to House of Representatives, would be the man that would replace him as governor of the state who knows what he would have done to that prophet or if an oracle had told obaze that he would be the one to be favored to swear to wear apc big crown he wouldn't have also believed but today in edo state there is a dramatic u-turn on the issue when we contacted the powers that be in apc the lots fell on Obaze. Another top member of the group confided in a correspondent that the ticket of the party had been decided by the political heavyweights in the APC, including Tinumbu, Ushomole, some financiers of the election and top leaders of the party in the state. Saturday Telegraph gathered that three names were suggested to the financiers of the election, Barista Heri Idahagmo, Dr. Pius Udubu and Honorable Osaro Obaze, but they were more comfortable with Obaze. They have all put their weight behind Obaze to pick the APC tickets. The financier said he can spend his money on him be, being a young man he has worked with and that he can be trusted. That ended the drama of a that ended the drama of a Eze Yamo, though he's still fighting hard for the tickets. APC cannot risk giving him the governorship ticket as a result of the series of court cases against him because they do not want what happened in 
Zamfara and Bayesa ceased to happen in the in Edo, the source said. However, Eze Yamus media director John Mayaki denied that his principal is out of the race, issuing a press release that his principal is still very much in the race. He said the support for the one popular, popularly called Pastor Eze Yamu remains very high. The baseless court case being bandled around by Governor Baseki and his agents are targeted at him because they are also aware of the fact that across the 18 local government area of Edo State, party members in large numbers have adopted Eze Yamu. Rather than deter his supporters or dissuade others from signing up for the simple agenda, the court case only serves as a re as a reveal of Pastor Ezeyamu's prime position and the growing des growing despair of the incumbent governor and his diminished group. APC members and Edo people are wondering why Obaseki, who claims to be popular and better loved, is asking the court not to allow Iyamu join the contest. They have asked repeatedly to no coherent answer from the incumbent that if you are so sure of victory, why are you trying to tilt the contest one way by barring others from participating? The tactics is already obvious and as such defeated. They know that a proper court hearing involving all sides will expose the emptiness of their suit so they want to manipulate the judicial process to gain an unfair advantage, he said. We believe in the integrity of the judiciary. The court case is a known issue. Pastor Sage Izeyamu is a bona fide member of the APC and is within his right to contest for office on its platform. There is no doubt about the facts and the, and the members are fully aware. Hmm. So guys, can you see the way all these politicians are really embarrassing themselves? First and foremost, uh, we heard from the beginning that... Uh, Tinumbu is not comfortable with the candidature, candidature of uh, Eze Yamu. And without even Tinumbu saying all of this, this is what we know. It's in the public domain. There's no trying to paint uh, things, that are, uh, things that are not even colorful. Just want to paint it and, you know, it's, it's just there for everybody to see. Everybody knows the truth. So it is a different ball game entirely. According to what Oshomole himself said, I mean, I mean when Oshomole was saying that and everybody is now putting up the video, what Oshomole said during... Uh, the 2016 uh, uh, campaign then against uh, uh, Eze Yamu. I don't know where the media aid of uh, Vase, uh, Eze Yamu, where he was, where people are putting it up before him. Why did they, they did not challenge that? That, okay, um, Oshomole said this, Oshomole said that. For this man or the camp of uh, Obaseki to be bringing the case, or uh, all of the case, even Oshomole, he has case, all of them, they have case with the EFCC. But because if they are in their good, if they are in the good book of uh, the power that be, like they always say, they will not even look at their case. But if you are not in their good book, sorry is your case. They will follow it to the logical conclusion until they put you behind bar because you are not in their good, uh, good book. So if uh, Obaseki is even lying, what of a uh, what Oshomole that he himself is even talking about, or is you know they are in the camp of Oshomole? What Oshomole has said, what are, what is he going to say? You know one thing about is uh, one good thing about the politicians, even when they know that this thing is not going anywhere, the way and manner to which they will have that confidence, and you'll be surprised at what is happening. You yourself, when you know that this thing is not going the way they are talking, you you want to change your mind, but they know quite alright that this thing is not going the way. It also, but they will they will be having this a uh, grandstanding that it will still work, and you know that this thing is not going to work. They will tell you, so they have that a uh, belief, eh? So you that you can't joke with politicians when it comes to that. They know they are not winning, but they will still tell you that nothing will happen. So if you don't even know your right uh, right from your left, you just you just fall in. But that being said, so now <laughs> you think uh, Eze Yamu is going to get the, this thing with all of these things that are in place. So. If they don't want what happened or a repeat of what happened in Bayesa and Zafara to happen, they should be able to put their, themselves together. And if they don't even want their party to lose completely, they should be able to put their house together and, and do the needful. Well, I think uh, the masses, the general masses, we are not talking of those who are card carrying members of each of those parties or any of those political parties, but we are talking political parties, any of 
a well meaning Nigerian, a well meaning uh, uh, the people of Edo that are, they don't believe in all of this is they just want somebody who is going to do the right thing i think that's what is important of course everybody can just be playing policy so you are going to be there but at the end of it all whether whosoever they, that that comes at the end of the day whether obaseki will get it at the end of the day whether obaze abi what is this man's name the Izeyamo, whosoever the most important thing is let there be good governance they are all coming to deceive people now when they give them the power now it's going to be a different board game entirely so, but that being said, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an embarrassment for Ezeyamu to have even left. If whatever we are hearing now is something we need to go with, to abide with, it's a shameful thing that he left a whole PDP that he was now came come, came here and see the way they are tossing him around. And that is how it's going to be because no uh, 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 well-meaning person will want to say, oh, all the things that have been said concerning this man, even the same man that uh, is carrying him, uh, trying to to, to to flaunt him the same manner that 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 discredited him the same man you want the people to think in that direction or to be able to say oh yes they are saying the right thing well let them go and test their popularity be it uh, obaseki be it obaze and Eze yamu let them go and test their popularity but at the end of the day we'll see who is more powerful uh, among them i think that's my own uh, uh, submission here. Someone says, I just love Oshomole and his cohorts, politicians with their propaganda. You are doing a great job, at least that is what you were paid for. I am tired of this Edo State election palaver, different news every day. Of course, we are tired as well. Obazeke, you are a daydreamer. Odubu or Ogewanyi will become APC's candidates in a few days. This is the best confusion everywhere in Edo. So, what is the pastor? pastor politician going to do now under Oshomole as chairman of apc nigerians have witnessed the worst primaries ever conducted the man is set to destroy a, a democracy obaseke obaseke okay make him make him help obaze the building uh way he built for inside cemetery make he go sleep okay beware of a uh, i do uh november i don't know who told you PDP can be defeated? Okay, PDP all the way. They are simply preparing a good atmosphere for PDP to take over after the election process. Funny enough, the APC house is totally divided. Ushomole will regret later. A divided house. A house that is divided against itself. Ushomole and his uh, evil cohorts will definitely be deleted from Nigeria and is plunged totally in a do politics so guys let us hear your opinion concerning this new development leave your comments down there below respectfully thank you